Greetings and welcome back to our Let's Play Oblivion. So in the last episode we went through Vivillian uh, Dungeon and now we're going to be following this path until we can either get to a dungeon or a quest. So here we are, let's go. It's always good to at least try to use some of your skills as you're walking around. This is why I always found being not on a horse much more better than wow well, looks like we're about to hit a uh, dungeon after all this might be a little bit quicker than I thought but as I was saying I like being able to walk around instead of being on a horse because on a horse you can't increase your skills you just can't and I think that's a real shame if I was able to like increase my skills while on a horse I would do it Besides my complaints, how's everyone doing today? So we got a couple of, uh... Thank you. The other one got away. No idea why... Holy shit, what the fuck? Get back here! No one escapes me! Except that other deer. Which managed to get away. No idea why the deer were in there. And... Alright. Let's have a look around before we head inside. But as I was saying... I like being able to run around. Because when you're running around, you can like practice some of your skills. And make them a little better. You can't really do that when you're on a horse. All you can do on a horse is go from one area to the next. Let's see, novice, we'll put that, that, and there we go. Does it look like there's any other chests up here? So I guess it's time for us to head inside. Ooh, I took damage. Heal me! The pain is too great! Okay, I'm good. Prepare! Prepare for a surprise attack! Here I am to save you! The sooner you guys realize that I am your savior, the better it is for you to surrender. Do you have anything? Just hmm. We'll just run through here. Hope that we don't run into any traps. Oh wow, he died. Let's come over here. We can push the healing. Nothing there. Let's come over here. I wasn't even paying attention though what dungeon this is. Hopefully it's not too great. There's another skeleton. Arrows, arrows, arrows. One over there. Nope. Let's come on over here. Hello? I'm not going to hurt you guys. I only want to destroy you. Wow. I can't Holy crap, there are ghosts here. Please don't hurt me. I'm only trying to save everyone by getting rid of everyone. None. Looks like there's a chest right here. Not that great of a loot, but it, hey, I'm still level one. I'm trying to figure out when I, I should uh, take the time to level up. I'm trying to figure out when's a good time to do that. Let's see. Let's 
check our map. Looks like we got everything there. Oh wow, that was a short ass dungeon. Protected by a ghost. I was hoping there'd be more in here. Oh wait, did I get that uh, chest? Good. You never be too sure about which chest you get, because unlike in the others, or in other games, this doesn't really tell you if you cleared a uh, chest or not, which is unfortunate. I think it's a real backdraw. Let's come on over here. Alright, another chest. And my security is now at level 26. Hmm. I might just uh, see about leveling up to level 2. Because level 2 is not that big of a difference. I see a little more mess, and it doesn't look like there is anything in this uh, particular dungeon. It looks like one of those small little uh, dungeons. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, mission uh, accomplished. We cleared another little dungeon. Oh well. I guess uh, we're going to be continuing along the road until we get to like another either dungeon or whatnot. So I said I'm going to start as I said I'm going to start around here, make my way full circle around the Imperial City and try to clear out all the uh, dungeons that are around here. So I said I'm going to go dungeon to dungeon trying to find them all and it looks like we've come across something very soon anyway I have no idea what it is so I guess um, not sure if it's like an inn but there is enemies around here it looks like an it looks like a little house that's good Little wolf, little wolf. Thinking you could get the best of me. Yes, it is an inn. Okay. The Roxy Inn. Okay, so. No, 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 not at all. We're, we're gonna go in here anyway. See what's up. I think that would be a little better. Alright, let's have a look, uh, talk to the locals. I don't know how to make this request any simpler, but to put it bluntly. Raylan the Greyfinder must die. Why? Raylan the Greyfinder. A few months ago, that witch of a necromancer decided to inhabit Moss Rock Cavern just north of my inn. I don't know what she does in there. Frankly, I don't want to know. However, I do know that after she arrived, the woods at night became unsafe. I've seen undead of all types walking in the dark woods near the cave entrance. Now this area is getting a bad reputation, and my business has waned. Well, that sucks to be you. Every day, it seems the number of undead increase. If someone can get into the cave and kill Raylan, maybe we can stem the tide. Her death pays a handsome bounty. Ooh. I hope you'll take advantage of the opportunity. I will, I will. Raylan, you definitely know what I'm doing next episode. What can I do for you? Rumors. What is it? Go ahead. Rumors. What can I do? Rumors. Let's hear Go some on. of the rumors. High mountain ranges rise to the borders in the north and east, and marshes and rainforests extend to the southeast borders. Mm, that's not really much okay. of a rumor. Okay. The assassinations. What else is there to talk about? Right. The uh, blades failed their job. Yes. yes, we know. The Fighters Guild is recruiting again. Not a bad way to make some money. Hmm, well, we might do that eventually. What? Let's see, what do you have? I don't like to think about zombies. Missing arms, legs. 
All right, so we know what we're going to do in the next episode, as I said. I will see you guys next time. If you guys liked this episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll deal with the uh, necromancer in the next episode.